I want to bring in John Moore now. He's a professor of microbiology and immunology at Weill Cornell Medical College. Professor Moore, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I do want to start with this new strain of coronavirus that we are seeing in the UK. It is common for viruses to mutate, correct? So why is this one especially concerning? Well, yes, it is common for viruses to mutate. And they, they, there's a selection pressure on them for greater transmissibility. So a virus that is transmitted more efficiently will dominate, will eventually grow to dominate in a population. So, yeah, it's a concern. It's, it's a concern to us as scientists and, uh, and as human beings. We all have the same uh, fears and concerns about the pandemic as everyone else does. But we've seen this story before. This is not the first coronavirus variant that has evolved and has spread more rapidly. The virus that first spread from China into Europe and the west coast of the States in February was replaced in March and April, largely around the world, by a variant called D614G that was more transmissible and eventually grew to dominate the pandemic in, here in the States and in most of Europe. So this sounds like it's the same story again, and the new variant, which seems to be called B117, is looking like it will become the dominant strain worldwide given enough time. So the good news is, as, as your correspondent from London said, it's not more lethal, it's not a more dangerous virus, it's more transmissible. And it also looks in very early studies not to be resistant to uh, the kinds of antibodies that are induced by the vaccines. And that is being very mm -hmm. carefully looked at worldwide now because a virus that, that was resistant to these vaccines would be a major problem. But we're not seeing that in early studies. And that's really important. Doctor, I just want to follow up, though, on something you just said. You said that it doesn't appear to be more deadly. Uh, but, but how can we know that for sure? Because at this point, we're just starting to see it circulate, right? So more infections, you know, on the one hand, even if it isn't more deadly on a percentage basis, uh, more infections will lead to more deaths, presumably, correct? Yes, that's true. What I meant was if you're infected by it, according to the reports from the UK, you're not more likely to die from it but you may be more likely to acquire it. But also, we should remember that this is not a mask-resistant virus. This is not a virus that will jump 12 feet towards you. It's going to be suppressed by the same methodologies that, that the common or garden current strain is, is suppressed by, wearing masks and social distancing. It changes nothing from that perspective. So we, it's in our own hands. If we continue to behave appropriately, we will not acquire this virus either. Right. So, you know, as you said, the UK health minister is continuing to study this new strain, finding that it is more infectious, but so far it's looking like it's not more deadly. Um, do you believe then that European countries who are choosing to cut off travel to and from the UK are doing the right thing until there's more information about this new strain? Or do you believe we already know how to prevent it? It's, it's the prevention methods are the same, so we should carry on. Well, it's understandable that the Europeans are doing these travel bans. I mean, it's politically, it's almost impossible for them not to. It's probably a case of shutting the stable door after the horse has bolted, though. But one, by the time you track a virus like this, and the Brits have got a very good program in this area, more so than most other countries, by the time you find something like this, it's already gone somewhere else. It may even be in the States already. We don't know. That's going to be looked at. It, there's a lot of surveillance studies now being done specifically to look for this new variant. But like I can say it, it's probably already spread to Europe. I mean, there are reports of similar strains within Europe already. And so it, it, it mm. may even be here. I like that saying, shutting the stable door after the horse has already bolted. That is the story of COVID-19 and the year 2020. All right. Well, thank you, Professor Moore. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Not to.